क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in this video we are going to see problem which is based on a solution of differential equation that can be obtained using laplace transform let us start with problem number 1 use laplace transform to solve the differential equation y dash minus y is equal to 3 into e raised to minus 2t if y of 0 is equal to minus 1 y of 0 means if time is 0 the value of y will be minus 1 y dash represents first derivative so you can write it as dy by dt so this will give you dy by dt minus y is equal to 3 e raised to minus 2t after that we can take laplace transform on both the sides taking laplace transform on both the side this will give you laplace of dy by dt minus y is equal to laplace of 3 into e raised to minus 2t now by using the linear property we can separate the laplace to each of the term laplace of dy by dt will give you s into y bar minus y of 0 minus again laplace of y will give you y bar and on the right hand side we have 3 laplace of e raised to minus 2t will give you 1 upon s plus 2 on further solving here we can take y bar common we'll get s minus 1 and y of 0 it is already given as minus 1 Here we have three upon s plus two. Now here minus of minus will become plus one. Taking this plus one on the right hand side, we will get y bar into s minus one is equal to three upon s plus two minus one. Now let us solve these two fractions. So we have three minus s minus two. That will give you three minus two as one, and we have one minus s upon s plus two. This s minus one will be divided on the right hand side. If you take minus sign common, here we will get s minus one. With that, s minus one in the denominator will be cancelled. Therefore, y bar will be minus one upon s plus two. Now the next procedure will be taking Laplace inverse on both the sides. So we have Laplace inverse of y bar is equal to Laplace inverse of minus one upon s plus two. Again, Laplace inverse of y bar will give you y of t. And on the right hand side, we have minus e raised to minus two t. So this becomes the required particular solution. I hope friends you have understood this problem. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.